Finally tonight, the extraordinary debut last night on one of the great stages in this country, Boston Symphony Hall, when a man who survived one of the great horrors of modern civilization shared some of the music that became his lifeline during a time he wasn't sure he'd survive. The story tonight from NBC's Stephanie Gosk. Yo-Yo Ma is used to standing ovations in Boston Symphony Hall, but this one is different. The crowd is applauding the man standing next to him. At 90 years old, George Horner is the oldest musician to make his debut on Boston's famed stage. He is also a Holocaust survivor, who sums up his emotions on this day very simply. Elated and, and thankful. Thankful to be alive and still playing. George has not lost his swing. Upbeat, happy music from a time that was anything but Composed in the same Nazi concentration camp where Horner and his family were imprisoned, the trained pianist performed with friends to lift fellow prisoners up. So you were sneaking around yes. playing the piano? Yeah, not piano, because it would, would be difficult to carry it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> I stand correct. No, the, the piano accordion. In the Terezin concentration camp, music was therapy. For me, it was uh, like a medication, because when I played, I, I played the music and I helped the people, so I felt good. To have transcended the most horrible things and to be able to, to be positive is a great testament, I think, too to the human spirit. The concert was organized by the Terezin Music Foundation, which dedicates itself to keeping the music of those who died in the Holocaust alive. As when George goes on that stage tonight, those silenced voices will be amongst us and he's giving voice to them. What a gift. One of very few eyewitnesses left. If it weren't for music, I wouldn't be alive shows how a playful note can help overcome a painful history. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, Boston.